I had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. All right. Oh, that's the exit. Well, what used to be the exit. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. It didn't even look like he had to try to push those over. He just like moved out of the way for him. Cold. Need. Uh, fire. Uh. Eh, yep. The remains of a campfire. Flint and Tinder, you could start another fire here. I still keep trying to rotate the camera in this. Yeah, his muscles are kind of funny. Uh, where's the chest? Hold on. Let me go save real quick. And then there's a chest somewhere up in that corner. I can't find the right spot. I mean, even, even with his muscles, like, he would still have to struggle to push those over. Chest is on this side. Where are you? There, in this corner. There we go. So we grab the withered bouquet, and then... Okay. Camera angles are throwing me off. Grab this chest. Should be a drawer somewhere that has the flint in it. Although honestly, I don't think you're gonna get much of a fire out of a withered bouquet, flint, and just some old wood from a previous campfire. This looks like it's stone, as, unless he takes that table and dries out that wood. Now that I have everything. I say frequently in this, by the way. Alright, let's get a fire going. Yes, I have played one too many games without saving frequently, like, you know, Skyrim. And then I'll mess up, and I'll be like 30 minutes behind where I was, or something stupid like that. <laughs> that was thunder! When he lit the fire, it was just thunder and lightning. I need food! <laughs> oh yeah, he's just talking to himself just out loud. I need food. What do you want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? Man, harsh, Oren. 
It's been ten years. I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. Oh man, I'm a little sleepy myself hey, tonight, Titus. Wait, wait. Uh, don't go out on me. Nah, nah. Just hold on. I'll get more wood. Like, where are you gonna get more wood? Another boss fight, right in the beginning of the game. Give me a break! I like how this game is still traditionally turn-based as well. You don't really do that anymore with Final Fantasy games. I'm gonna go ahead and use potion because I don't remember exactly how this fight goes. Of course. Probably didn't need to use that potion. Oh well, those are easy to come by. Hey, needless explosion! else helps. They all have guns. You on my side? Cool. Got tutorialized how to chuck grenades. Attacks and grenades, and that should be it, I think. And he's dead. So dramatic when she takes her goggles off. Phew. That was close. Hey, let me go. Redek What is this? A fiend in human disguise. Yes, it is so. Damn it! We kill it? Fed! Wait! Trivadecrisa! What if it is human? They are the same in death. Dang, dude. Forbid it. We bring it with us. Kuno. Sorry. And gut punch. It's so nice being able to read all the Albed.
kid, did die job. Sit, Captain. Hey, that hurts. Musujek, rain. No moving Whoa. here. Okay. Kainis. Search him. Right, whatever. Do we hood kebab? Do you not speak? I said I don't understand. Insolence. Fed! Wait. You said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You. you understand me? All right, I'll work. Oh, and another safe sphere. All right, let's talk to her. Oh, almost forgot. Using the sphere grid. Is there any way I can get out of this tutorial at all? Kinda doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna speed through the tutorial. I definitely know how to use the sphere grid. Move around, select where you want to place your cursor, and then you can place spheres, and that's essentially how you level in this game, rather than having actual levels. Different spheres will give you different abilities or stats. Showing. I seriously can't skip this. <gasps> oh man. You have different types of spheres for the different types of stats that you're gonna upgrade. And it's just like, hey, yeah, you can view all of your statuses. And every character has a sphere grid. And the sphere grid is huge, and you get an achievement on Steam if you actually uh, complete an entire sphere grid. I've never done that. We found some right. ancient ruins right beneath us. Let's go do it's some not work. Active now, but there should still be some power left. We're gonna go down there and activate it, and then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's Titus get just to work. doesn't care. Roger. It helps if I hit the proper button to dive. Here we go. There's the chain. There's like speed runs of every single one of these Final Fantasy games too, which are crazy. No, like, finish in nine hours. All right, we made it to the sunken ruins. And of course, let me see. Alright. <laughs> he doesn't even try to use that. He just starts banging on it. Poor troubleshooting skills. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> right. It's kind of weird that he, of all people, doesn't really know how to use technology because he grew up in Xanarkin where like, everything is super technologically advanced. You would imagine it would be part of their day-to-day -day lives. And yet he's still just like, eh, I'm just gonna punch this thing a few times. No biggie. Riku's like, yeah, just punch another thing for me, please. a little slow to catch on sometimes. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. And we have another boss fight. Actually, gonna see what I can steal from it. Okay, a couple grenades. Let's go ahead and use one. Three hundred twenty-eight. Tutorializing trigger commands. Stand by. I know, right? The little buckler on his arm. Wait, what? What's even the point? Steal another grenade. No, dang it. Alright, this time the trigger command not different? Okay. There it is. Pincer attack. His attack is just called tentacles. Niku should be able to handle that. Yeah, she can take like one more of those hits before I need to heal her. Let's see if I can just kill it first. for his sphere grid. And then we'll go out this broken hole instead of where we came in for some reason. Oh, that probably was where we... No, no, it wasn't where we came in. Scared all the fishies. And 
then we can go down this way. That's an awfully familiar shape in the water right there. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Kid, I don't think I made the connection of what that was, especially since it was my first time playing through. I also don't really remember this cutscene showing it off that much. We found the airship. The records were right. Now how to drag it up. Yeah, they just said what it was. You, outside. Hey, I helped out, didn't I? Yeah, you actually helped them find the airship in the very beginning of the game. Ugh, hungry. And this is like the only time Titus eats in the entire game too. And he like chokes on it. Whoa! Right on! Yeah, I hadn't realized it either until one of my other recent playthroughs. Hey! It's because you eat too fast. Hey! What is your name? Riku. Whoa! You really do understand! <laughs> <Whoa -hoo -hoo! laughs> Riku is a pretty great character. Uh, why didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. Um... Who are you guys, anyway? We're out bed. Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an out bed hater, are you? I don't even know what an out bed is. Where are you from? Xanarkand. I'm a Blitzball player. Uh, star player of the Xanarkand Abes? Did you...? Hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me? Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near sin. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? 
Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So, no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? Wha wha what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkand. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! And let's talk to her some more. You said... You play Blitzball? Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty crazy the sport lasted a thousand years. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. <laughs> You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> right? It's like he's not even from Spira in the first place. My Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place, that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! Yes, I will save my game.